All right, YouTube, I'm going to upgrade my graphics card. I have a 3070 right here, but I'm going to upgrade to my 4070 Ti Super. Uh, I got it for $750, and I'm going to show you how easy you can do this with just a screwdriver. All you got to do is unplug your monitors. But first, the unveiling of my new 4070 Ti Super. <clears throat> Oh. oh, there she is, where is she? Is there like an extra little piece that goes on there? There's the connectors. All right, let's take the old one out. All right, you're gonna wanna unplug your computer, of course. And uh, I'll just go ahead and plug it from here. Make sure that's off. And then take the side panel off. Screw here. And screw up there. So I'm going to take those off. Get the case off. Alright, now that I got the case off. Here's the old GPU. I'm just going to take those off. It's hard to do this with one hand. But those little tabs there. Comes right out. See if there's, check if there's anything securing it in there. Now you're gonna go to these two that are holding it right here. You take those out, but first, I forgot to tell you, take your monitor plugs out like I said in the beginning of the video. Now you're ready to take on those. So these two right here. I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna pause the video. All right, I got those screws over there removed. Now we can, mine has this button, yours might not have it, but this helps you release the graphics card. So I'm gonna need my two hands. And it came right out. And there she is. And now we just put in the new one. All right, guys. Well. I forgot the 3070 uses two PCIs and this new uh, 4070 Ti only uses one here, but this is what this adapter is for. So I'm going to have to uh, unplug everything from the computer and do it the right way uh, for cable management. Uh, so you know, this one, convert it to the one. As you can see here, it shows you right here. Um, connect one. Two to one right there. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so I got it on my table now. I'm gonna uh, remove, this is like an extension thing. So I'm gonna have to go remove it. So I'm gonna take these two screws off to get this other side panel off. I'm just gonna skip this part. Okay, now we're on the back side of the computer. I can see, cause it's the white extender. I need to unplug it and then put in the one that came with the graphics card. As you can see, this diagram here is gonna go two into this one. Let's just feed that out to the front. Guess I won't be needing these anymore. I could technically use it, but it's gonna make it way too long. I got plenty of room here. Ooh, this is a nasty looking line though. That's the whole reason I had this one, cause it's clean looking. But I mean, I don't mind. And these are just plug and play. Something to take a look going on. There we go. And then this one. It's kind of finicky getting them to uh, line up. There we go. Make sure it clicks. And we're good to run this through the computer now. Where did that come out at? I think I'm going to need to come in through this one here. 
And this one here. I'm gonna feed that. Let's flip her over. All right. So now you can see I ran it through and it should be able to connect in there now. So I'm gonna install the graphics card now into that slot right there. Yours should be similar, even if you have a different uh, graphics card or a uh, AMD or a different uh, motherboard. All right, so this baby's gonna go in here. Just like that. I'm gonna play around with this connection though. Let me see what would be the... Maybe some wire management here. Okay, make sure you take off this protector thing here. Don't be a dumb dumb. She is in there. Plug that bad boy in. And she is good to go. Now for this mount thing. Not sure what this mount. Let me take it out the bag. Oh, okay, see, so this is an anti lag. You put it right there. Make sure it lines up underneath there. And then you just install it there on your bracket and it'll keep it from uh, lagging. So I'm going to install that. All right, I got all those on there for the bracket. Make sure your power cord's not going to be hitting the fan. It's getting close, but I mean, it, as long as I don't move this fan up, I think I think it'll look good when it's sitting on its side. So I'm gonna put the other side panel on. Don't put the glass side panel on until you plug everything in and check it. So I'm gonna uh, plug everything in again and uh, get the graphics card updated. Okay, and then now you hit the power button and pray everything goes all right. All right, it's got a white light. Saying something about the power of the GPU. Hopefully I plugged it in correctly. I did what it said. Uh, but I couldn't get any screen. So I had to unplug it from the GPU and then plug it into the, the actual, uh, the motherboard there. So hopefully I can get in here. Now I just need to do some settings tweakings. First, I'm gonna go to NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Let's do a custom installation. Okay, I was getting a uh, GPU not detected thing. So let's pull it up and see if it'll detect it now. But it actually is working through the GPU now. So that that's good. Um, what I had to do is I, I did some research and apparently these things are finicky. And uh, on the connection here, you gotta really jam this uh, thing in there. I thought it was in there, but apparently it was not. So if you have a problem with it not recognizing it and the monitor's not turning on, definitely check the connections. Even if it looks like everything's good. Um, so let's see if it'll let it do us. All right, it says I have the latest graphics card, but it was for the, uh, the old graphics card. So I'm gonna rerun it. I should fix our problem here. Okay, here we go. Make sure you click on perform clean installation right there. That way it's gonna remove all of the stuff from the old driver. But now I got both screens ready to go. As soon as this is done, we are good to go. And that's why I tell you not to put the side cover on because I did mess up. Uh, hopefully this helps you install a graphics card or if you have a 47 ti plus with this adapter thing on here and you're not getting the screen don't do what i did make sure that thing is just jammed in there and you should be good to go enjoy your next generation of nvidia graphics gaming if this has helped you out please like and subscribe it definitely helps out uh, as you can see i don't have many subscribers so